Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're making Instant Pot Turkey Breast. So I'm Kristen. And I'm Elise. And I'm so happy to have a sister <laughs> a with me. Face. I know, it's so fun. So we love sharing simple, easy recipes, especially in the Instant Pot, because that's where most of our questions come from. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to use the Instant Pot, so we love sharing our Instant Pot recipes with you guys. So today we're gonna make Instant Pot turkey breast. And growing up, we always had turkey for Thanksgiving, and it's such a huge undertaking. So this is the perfect recipe to feed a smaller crowd. Yes, yes. A couple of people so you're not making this massive turkey that you're gonna have tons and tons of leftovers in your Instant Pot. Exactly, and I love cooking in the Instant Pot because it makes it just nice and juicy and tender. You know, sometimes you cook it in the oven and it gets a little like nasty. like Christmas vacation right? when they're like <laughs> sawing it open. <laughs> Exactly, so we're gonna show you how to make a nice, tender Instant Pot turkey breast. Let's get started. So you can do a few things with this. So you can um, saute your turkey breast, but we're not gonna do that today. So the only thing about the Instant Pot is that you don't get that nice brown crispness to your turkey. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? So you can saute your turkey, but for us, we're just feeding our family, so yeah. I really don't care about the, the crispiness of the skin. Yeah. So we're just gonna put it right in the My Instant kids pot. are weird about stuff looking burned, so if it's <laughs> seared on the outside, they're like, why is it black? Why is it burned? So we're just going the juicy route. Perfect, let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna make a seasoning mixture to go on our turkey breast, and I'm starting with a tablespoon of olive oil. Now we do the olive oil so it will make the spices stick to the turkey. Okay, and then Kristen, Oh my introduce gosh. me to these. I love these things. They're the magnetic ones. If you haven't seen them, I'll, I'll link them down below for you guys. And then we're just doing a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Now if you don't have smoked paprika, you can just use the normal paprika. And then we've got, sorry, butterfingers here, two teaspoons of ground black pepper, and then a teaspoon of salt. And if you don't want all these spices, you can kind of make your own turkey. Yeah, you could Boy, substitute. If you're worried about the paprika, you could always switch that out for thyme or something savory. Perfect. Um, a table, oh sorry, teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Nice. I always like to add a little bit more of Italian seasoning. Okay, should I open yeah, this? Big, we're going for it today. Oh, <laughs> you have to dump it. oh, there you go. Let's do two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Yeah. And then a teaspoon of minced garlic. Now, if you don't have the minced garlic, I like to use that kind because you can just keep it in your refrigerator and you always have garlic on hand, so you don't have to use the press every time, you know? Yes. All right, so we're just mixing this up. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? So, how I did this before, I will be the one touching the turkey, sorry. Hey, I'll, that's fine with me. <laughs> okay. So now this turkey breast comes with strings attached. Now you can keep it like that and just do the seasoning around that, but I like to season all the pieces of the turkey breast. So we cut it open and we're just gonna season um, on both sides. Just lightly rub around all the turkey. This. Go for it. Really getting in there. Mm -hmm. My first year of marriage, I thought I was gonna impress my husband and make a full size turkey. He got one through his work. Oh no. And it fell on the ground, it slipped out of my hands, and like the, all the stuff, the gizzards or whatever you deal with, yeah, yeah. it's like, I'm never doing this again. And I ended up crying, and we went and got a hamburger. So, happy Thanksgiving. This is our kind of turkey. No bones, nothing. Right. None of the, the lovely stuff. Right. The, and the it's not gonna cook gizzards. for like hours and hours and hours. No, so actually how the turkey cooks is, we usually say about, six to eight minutes per pound. So this is three pounds. So I like to go more on the, the longer side. So we're gonna do 24 minutes just with this. So we're actually gonna just stick it right into the bottom of the Instant Pot. So if you were searing the outside of this, would you sear it before you did the So you would spices? add a little bit more oil on the bottom and sear it with the spices. Okay. But because we're not, we're just gonna go this. Okay, so once we have the turkey in the bottom, and you always wanna make sure when you're cooking meat in the Instant Pot, the meat goes on the bottom because okay. it will cook better that way. So we're gonna just add about a half a cup to a cup. I like to add a cup just in case. We just want it to pressurize all the way. She's pouring it really carefully so the seasoning's I, I not rubbing I want my seasoning off. to still stay on my turkey. But the good thing is with the Instant Pot, because it pressurizes all the water and seasonings will kind of all mix together while it's cooking. So it will still taste good. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we're ready. So we're gonna put the lid on. 
flip this around a little bit. Now this is, so this is the Instant Pot Lux. So the knob's a little bit different. So we're gonna turn this little knob to ceiling. And then it says it has a manual button. So the manual button and the pressure cook button are the same thing. So you wanna push your manual button, then you're gonna push your plus button. So we're going up to about 24 or 25 minutes and we're gonna let it sit there. So you're gonna wait just a few seconds and then, so after a few seconds, it's gonna beep and say on. That means you're doing it right. So now you just get to walk away while your turkey cooks. Okay, so we have been letting this release on its own for about 15 minutes. And then we're gonna turn the little knob to venting to get out the rest of the pressure. Oh, we're good. <laughs> Love when that happens. Okay, then we're gonna just pull it right up. Oh my word, can you guys see this? Oh yeah, it looks so good. It, it smells, smells good. so good. Okay, so the secret in making turkey breast is that once it's done cooking, you're gonna put it on a plate, then you're gonna let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes with some foil over top. So that's what we're gonna do. Pull this out very gently. Oh, can you guys see that? Oh yeah. There we go. Oh good, you got some foil. I feel bad saying this, but I've never been a turkey person. Like Thanksgiving turkey? This might change your mind. I know, but this has got me convinced, like it's With falling the apart. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so go ahead and put the foil on. We're gonna let it sit there for like 10, 15 minutes or so. Perfect. Okay, all right, I think we're ready. Okay. Oh man, that looks so good. Okay. So usually we'll have this all nice and plattered and <laughs> cut pretty, but I just want to show you the inside of it here, of just how juicy and good it is. So if you're cooking this for Thanksgiving dinner, don't forget your mashed potatoes and other Thanksgiving recipes. I'll have a link down below in the description for you for other delicious Thanksgiving recipes here on YouTube. So that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now remember, if you want more Instant Pot recipes, make sure that you subscribe and like, and we will see you guys next Monday.